Hi, and this is Francisco Bujan from VitalCoaching.com and we are talking about dating success for men. The topic for this video is should you tell her if there is something you don't like about her? For instance, there might be a behavior or something, an attitude that you notice which is a little bit annoying you. Now the question is, you are at a first date or a second date or a third date for instance, is it okay to tell her what you are feeling, what is happening? And the answer is for now, <laughs> better not. Okay. Again, we are focused on fun here and confidence. You need to be in a place where you can kind of accept her imperfections. It's fine. You look at them and for now they make you smile. It's only when you start being more committed that you have space to educate each other. Now, when you try to educate a person, when you try to give her a feedback which is a bit challenging or a bit negative, you have to be extremely careful in the way you do that because it can be perceived as something quite negative. When somebody tends, uh, you know, for instance, will, will give you feedback, most of the times you take a defensive position unless the person who says that or who does that approaches it in, in a very smart way. So here are a couple of tips. First, if there is something that you don't like about her, which is a little bit annoying you or that you would like her to change, after a few dates, in the first one to three months of dating, don't even tell her. Don't mention it to her. Just give her space to be herself, relax, feel free in your presence and focus on having fun with her. That's it. It's very simple. You don't want still to create problems or issues or kind of invite her to change some of her behaviors. Once you start to get to know each other, once you start being a bit more committed, it's different. And this is where you can start applying very simple educate, uh, you know, educating her strategies. To educate her, to give her a negative uh, a feedback which might be a bit challenging or negative, here's what you must do. First, you must give her lots of positive feedback, right? <laughs> Uh, let's say that, for instance, you have something negative to tell her, you must give her maybe four positives to one negative. That way, she's going to be able to take it in. For instance, you can say, you know, I love your hair, I love how you behave in social situations, I think that you have such an amazing job, I really admire you. All these things are compliments, are positive feedback. She will feel valued and she will realize that you really care for her and really enjoy her presence, okay? And once you say that, then you can eventually, you know, somewhere during the week or uh, during the time that you are together, say something like, there is something that I would like to share with you which might be a little bit challenging. Is this the right time to tell you that? And then if she says, yes, it's, it's okay, um, you know, you can share what you, have to, what you have to tell her. For instance, if she systematically shows up late for appointments with you, you can say, well, you know, I noticed that when you come to, uh, to, to meet me, I feel a little bit, uh, you know, out of place because I'm waiting for you for usually for half an hour. Is there any way we could actually meet in time? Because very often I have something after. You can kind of bring it up in a way which is going to be possible for her to look at it and say, yeah, you have a point, you know, let's make a change and let me change that specific aspect of my behavior or personality, okay? Now, when you do that, you have to give her space. Uh, it, it might take her some time, you know, it might take her a month or two months to actually be able to make a change if it's a habit that she had uh, in her already for a long time, okay? You take care for now and bye-bye.